remember when you go power to power, like on these warm up problems, you multiply the exponent. So we have 2 to the 6th, 3 to the 4th, 1 to the 20th, x to the 18th, b to the 10th, and a to the 28th. Now today we're going to be bringing that in with fractions. It's the same property. So if you have an exponent outside the parentheses. It's almost like you have to distribute that exponent to everything on the inside. So here, as it is, it's 4 to the first power, x to the second power. All of that is being raised to the third power. So we need to multiply both of the exponents by 3. So it would be 4 to the third power and x to the sixth power. Now you don't leave 4 to the third, you actually do that number. So 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 would be 64 x to the 6th power. Great, so again, just make sure you give everything in the parentheses that exponent. So we would have 2 to the 3rd power times 3 to the 3rd power. Or you can multiply these together first, since it's all in parentheses, so it would be 6 to the 3rd power and whatever that is. Now, I don't know what 6 Actually, let's see. 36 times 6 would be 216. Yeah. So 216 this way. Otherwise, 2 to the third, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 is 9 times another 3 is 27. And 8 times 27 would also give you that uh, 216. So on B, we have 2P all raised to the 4th power. So you got to give it the 4 to the 2. Because it was 2 to the 1st, so 1 times 4 is 4. It was P to the 1st, now it's going to be P to the 4th. Now 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, P to the 4th. Remember, everything has its own exponent. So this will be to the fifth, and y to the tenth. Last one, we'll have 5 to the second power and x to the sixth power. 5 to the second power is 25. Nice. Great, these are the same thing, except the negative is on the outside on b. So, we are squaring each one of these, so we're going to do negative 5 to the second and x to the second. Now, if it's in parentheses, that means the negative is multiplied each time. So negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25, whereas this one is like saying the opposite of 5x to the second power. So we're going to do the 5 squared x squared first, and then we'll make it negative. 5 squared is 25, so our end result would be negative 25 x squared. So again, it fits in parentheses, and it has an even exponent, it will come out positive. If it is not in parentheses, or it has an odd exponent, it will come out negative. So negative 2 will be negative 2 raised to the fourth power. So if it's even exponent, it will come out positive. We'll also have y to the fourth. So we know it's coming out positive. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. Positive 16, y to the fourth. Over here, we have the opposite of 2 to the fourth, y to the fourth. We know 2 to the fourth is 16, so this will come out to negative 16, y to the fourth. And over here, we have negative 5 to the 3rd, a to the 6th, and b to the 3rd. Now, when it's negative and it has an odd exponent, it doesn't matter if it's in parentheses or not, it's going to come out negative. 5 squared is 25. Think of 5 quarters. That's $1.25. So negative 125, a to the 6th, b to the 3rd. Same thing with a fraction. You gotta give everything in the fraction that exponent. So this one, they gave us a square. They said find the area of the square. Now, to me, honestly, if I was doing this, 
I would just do 3 over B times 3 over B. But that's not what they want us to do here. They want us to say, oh, the area of a square is the side squared. So our side is 3 over B, and they want us to square it. So you have to square each part. It's going to be 3 to the second power over B to the second power. 3 squared is 9. B squared is just B squared. So here would be your area. Now, if you just multiply 3 over B times 3 over B, 3 times 3 is 9, B times B is B squared. So that's why I said, to me, I would just do it that way on this particular problem. But they want us to get this property down. So one half to the third power. You have to give that third power to each of those. One to any power is just going to be one. Two to the third, two times two is four, times two is eight. So one eighth. A negative number to the fourth power it has an even exponent, so it's got to come out positive. So we have negative two to the fourth over 3 to the 4th. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. And then over here, we have to cube everything. We have everything in the third power. So 2 to the 3rd, x to the 6th, 3 to the 3rd. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, x to the 6th. 3 times 3 is 9, times another 3 is 27. What else we got going here? Is that it? Oh man, that's it. Dang, dude. 